The Sixth Sunday After Pentecost, Year B, from the Second Book of Samuel. The Lord said to you, It is you who shall be shepherd of my people Israel, you who shall be ruler over Israel. In the name of that same Lord, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our readings for this week address questions about the sources of power and the individual's exercise of that power for, among, and over other people. We start with the question of what it means to be known to the people. Israel claims David as their own blow, bone and flesh, ca- claiming kinship while establishing that the people of Israel are the source of his strength. Same dynamics at work in Nazareth, but with a very different outcome. Here, the people's knowledge of Jesus' lineage and recent history leads them to deny the authority of his teaching. They identify their weakness as the source of Jesus' weakness, and their lack of faith prevents him from doing deeds of power there. Looking through the lens that Paul presents to the Corinthians, we see that Jesus' leadership is in fact exercised not in strength, but in weakness. This same Jesus will conquer Satan through the power of that very weakness, the shared mortality of every human person. Jesus does not retreat to a fortification, but he sends his disciples out even further, ordering them to go out weak and ill-equipped, relying on others for all they need, and proclaiming the need for all to repent. Let our authority as a people lie not in the apparent strength of our ability to conquer other lands or other people, but in the apparent weakness of our ability to identify and conquer our own faults through ongoing repentance and reform. May we become aware of our faults as a sharp thorn in our collective flesh rather than as something we can simply ignore. Let our safety as a people lie not in bulwarks and battlements to define and contain the people of God, but in our willingness to risk everything in the service of the God who is our sure refuge. When no place should happen to welcome or hear us, when we're called to shake off the dust on our feet as a testimony, there too may our God give us very real strength and courage to serve justice and seek the truth. Such is the dominion for which our God has anointed us in baptism, and such is the shepherding God desires for all people. In the name of our God, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.